Getting new cookware is always exciting, but not if your first experience is not a good one. I'm here to show you a few tricks and tips how to use Analon X and so you have the best experience possible. First thing you always want to do with Analon X is to preheat the pan. We're going to use just a medium heat setting. Usually you only need a low to a medium heat setting. Rarely do you need a high heat. If you need high heat searing, like if you're doing a stir fry or something like that, put it on high for about a minute, two minutes at the most, and then turn it back down to medium. That's gonna maintain the heat without overheating the pan. So you're always gonna need oil in the pan. With the sear tech, the oil and the heat and the fats from your food, that's when it's gonna give you that amazing caramelization, all those really great flavors that you really wanna get. Today we're gonna to just be making some scallops, something that's gonna cook up pretty quickly. I put them on a paper towel here just to make sure to get the moisture out. And we're gonna place these in here. Hear that sizzle? That sizzle is great. That means the sear tech is working. You wanna take the chill off your food. That's another thing that's gonna help reduce any kind of sticking that you have in your pan. If you put something that's really cold into your hot pan, that's when you have like thermal shock and that's when you have all that sticking and not a good experience. So I've taken these out a little bit beforehand um, so they'll get a little bit more to room temperature. You also don't wanna crowd the food in here. These are scallops, they'll cook up pretty quickly, but you don't wanna uh, crowd them because if you crowd them, that's when you get steaming and you don't get those really great browning and caramelization. So non-stick users, I know you're gonna be tempted to kind of move these things around in the pan, move it around, you don't wanna do that. Stainless steel users, you know that that creates a horrible mess. So just like stainless steel and like cast iron, you wanna make sure you leave food in the pan and don't touch it. Give it a few minutes so the sear tech does its job and gives you those really great searing uh, and textures and flavors that we're looking for. You'll notice if you end up pulling on it a little bit, if there's some resistance, that usually means it's not ready to flip yet. All right, these look incredible. They're all beautifully caramelized and browned, gorgeously seared. I'm gonna take these out of the pan now because they cook up super fast. There's not much residue left in the pan. I've turned this off and because it's again that thick base, the residual heat's gonna keep the pan nice and hot. Some herbs and some shallots actually. A little bit of white wine. You don't have to use. You can use chicken stock. Again, the pan is off though it's really great residual heat because it's keeping that heat in the pan. So we're just basically scraping those little bits of flavor off. And then we're going to add a little bit of butter just for shine, add a little salt and pepper. Again, this is only if you really want a sauce. If you wanted to, if there was any residual stuff, you could just use water and just scrape it up and your pan will be ready to just go in the dishwasher if you needed to or just soap and water is totally fine. So now our pan sauce is reduced by a little bit. I'm gonna shoot it with a little bit of lemon for some acid at the very end. Pour this over our scallops here. Beautiful. But at this moment, now there's nothing, there's a little bit of sauce left in the pan, but really there's no residue left in here. Ready to just use soap and water, throw it in the dishwasher, you're ready to go. 